ABC7. This is Eyewitness News. Music, dancing, joy, and some powerful messages. The LA Pride Parade happening today in a celebration in Hollywood. Hello, and thank you so much for joining us. You're watching Eyewitness News at 4, live on ABC7, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. I'm Michelle Fisher. And I'm Jory Rand. The 2023 LA Pride Parade capped a weekend-long celebration. People from all different backgrounds gathering to celebrate Pride and what it means for them. Our crews were there today with special coverage. Eyewitness News reporter David Gonzalez shows us the highlights of the festivities and reactions from people who were there. The most colorful day in LA is overflowing with excitement. As the 53rd annual LA Pride Parade rolled through the streets of Hollywood. It's so much fun. Everybody just so open and free. It just feels great. It's great. This is amazing. Like everyone's spirits high and it's just lovely. Everyone's like loving each other. For some, the parade is an opportunity to proudly showcase who they love. I love him, and it is my honor to share his first prize. Having everybody together and being in a place where there's absolutely no judgment, and that everybody just is happy to be here. For others, it's a chance to stand in solidarity as an ally with the community that is being marginalized every day. I think this is really important for them to see this like it is, right? It's normal. It, we are like all the same. aired live on ABC7 with Ellen Leva and Christian Cordero as your hosts. It featured a spectrum of groups, organizations, and companies like Disney. ABC7's David Ono, Colleen Sullivan, and Mark Brown were also on hand to celebrate Pride. Families enjoying the parade say Pride is needed now more than ever. Everyone's different and we're going to preach to have kids feel good and confident about themselves. It starts with these things and appreciate everybody for everything that they are. Shaping the future, we have to start now. Change is not tomorrow or yesterday, it's now. So whether you're straight or fall anywhere within the LGBTQIA community, people out here just want you to know that pride is love, but more importantly, love is love, and that's the message they want to get across to the world. Reporting in Hollywood, David Gonzalez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And if you missed our live broadcast of today's LA Pride Parade, you could watch it again at 9 tonight on our 24-7 streaming channel. You can watch it wherever you stream ABC7 Los Angeles. Well, after a controversial few weeks for the Dodgers, the team's Pride Night is set for this upcoming Friday, and it will include the drag group called the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. The group dresses as nuns and raises money for the LGBTQ plus community. Well, several Catholic groups have complained, saying they feel the group mocks their religion. The Dodgers originally disinvited the group, then re-invited them following public backlash. The Dodgers are set to host the Giants on Friday. The writer's strike set to enter its seventh week this week and more stars showing support for their co-workers. Some of the cast from the 90s sitcom Boy Meets World joined a rally last week. And this coming Wednesday, film and television writers from around the world will rally in support of the WGA. And with the writers out of work for a month and a half now, an additional $2 million has been approved for union members who are in need of financial assistance. A dramatic rescue from the riverbed in the Hollywood Hills. This is video posted on the Citizen app. Firefighters responded just before one this afternoon at Barn Boulevard, just outside Warner Brothers Studios. They say a 26-year-old woman fell about 25 feet down. Firefighters conducted what they call a litter basket operation using a rope system from the end of a fire truck ladder. They were able to bring that woman back up to street level. She was loaded into an ambulance. It appeared she may have suffered a broken leg and is said to be in fair condition. A shocking scene. Other travel plans as the major East Coast thoroughfare will likely be closed for quite some time.